Hello everyone. Today I will walk you through the process of building a Power Automate bot that automatically turns a web page into a PDF document. This is particularly useful when a web page does not have an export button. But before we dive into the main topic, we kindly request you to like and comment on this video. Your support will help more people on YouTube to find this video. So let's start. Here I have Power BI and Excel related formulas and their respective URLs. I need to navigate to each URL in the Chrome web browser and then I need to convert that web page into a PDF document. When I launch this URL, I don't have the export button which can convert to PDF document. Hence, we are going to use the print option by pressing Ctrl P and then click Save. Here we need to supply the path and file name so that the web page will be converted into the proper PDF document. So let's create the bot. You may be thinking where we can use this data, but don't worry, in any organization, you may be having an invoice number or a claim number along with a URL for that respective or invoice. Maybe you are working in a financial organization that you have a bunch of invoice IDs along with the invoice URL. When you launch that URL, you may not be having export button in the web page so that you can use this technique to convert that web page into a PDF document. So head back to Power Automate. Click on new flow, give a meaningful name for your flow. Here I have given web page to PDF. Click on create. This will take a few seconds to open the program window. Left side you can see all the list of actions uh, which are segregated into various sections. On the right side you can see variables pane open. And you, if you go to UI elements, you can see the UI elements. If you go to the images, you can see the images pane. Switching back to variables pane. Here we have our input data in Excel file. So we need to launch the Excel. Try to find launch under actions. You can see launch Excel. Click and hold that action and drag onto the canvas. It opens this dialog. Launch Excel with blank document or open the following document going to choose open the following document and here we can supply the excel path click on select file go to the respective folder select the excel file click open whenever you want to open the document you can directly open or you can open as a read only i'm going to open it as a read only mode click save once we open the file it will be loaded into Excel instance variable. After opening the file, we need to read the Excel data. So try to search the action read. Here you can see under Excel group, there is a read from Excel worksheet. And drag this action onto the canvas. Once you drag this pop up, will come. The Excel instance, the previous variable will be referred here. Under retrieve, we can see a couple of choices. Here, going to select all available values from worksheet. Under advanced, first line of range contains the column names. That means if you have headers in your data at the first row, we can enable this option. Since I have my headers on the first row, I have enabled it and then save. The data will be loaded into Excel data variable here. Once we read the data, we need to loop through each row. So try to find loop. In Power Automate, these many loops are here. Going to take for each loop. Under each loop, click on this select variable. Our variable is here, Excel data. Click select. Click save. This for loop will loop through all the rows in the Excel data. Then we need to launch the Chrome. 
under browser automation you can see launch new chrome drag onto the canvas between for each and the end and whenever we launch the chrome it will be new instance and the url is click on the select variable and the current item in excel we have the url column right that column name is link we need to give this link header into the current item head back to the power automate before the last percentage character open the square bracket within double quote link close double quote close square bracket the window state always recommended to take the maximized here you can also rename the variables at any point of time if you would like to give your own variable name you can always give your own variable name launch chrome click save see here launch chrome variable is created i'm going to click on the prior to the line number so that it will give a break mode here so if you run the program it will give a pause where the circle is appearing to run the program click on the run button on the top once the chrome is launched as we discussed there is no export button instead of export button we can use control p from your keyboard which opens the print dialog on the chrome so we need to send the keys from the bot to chrome application for this stop the program and try finding send keys so drag this after the launch chrome the send keys to foreground window under the text to send open the curly bracket control close curly bracket open parenthesis open curly brackets capital p close curly brackets close parenthesis the command should be the same if you would like to know the command one more time you can pause the video and see the command click save once we send the keys this dialog will come and then we need to click on the save button right try to find click here the first group under ui automation you can see click ui element in window drag that action after the send keys under ui element click on the drop down click on add ui element this opens the ui element picker now you have to carefully move your cursor on to the save button once the button is identified hold control key and click that button this will capture that button into the program once you drop down that ui element drop down you can see that that is captured the save button click select click save so let me click on the browser also save button now this pop up has come so now here we need to identify the file name text box which can help us to update the path and file name head back to power automate under the actions search for populate under ui automation drag this populate text field on window click on the text box and click add ui element this ui element picker has come up if you would like to move to right side or left side you can move it always and try finding that text box now the file name text box is found click on the text box choose the file name and then click select under the text box we need to update the path and file name here let me take the path where we need to save the pdf documents copy the path paste here give a backslash click on the select variable select the current item if you go to the excel we are going to give the pdf file name as formulas so let me copy the header after current item open square bracket within double quote paste the formulas close double quote close square bracket at the end 
give the file extension as dot pdf click save now this will update the path and file name into the text field after populating the path and file name in the file name box we need to click on the save button for this head back to power automate search for click drag this click ui element in window after the populate text click on this ui element add ui element once the button is identified hold the control key and click on that button it will process to capture once the element is captured click on this ui element and click on button save to you can see the preview of the button here click select and save after saving the pdf document we need to close the browser so try searching to close under browser automation close web browser drag that action after click ui element the instance is launch chrome save after closing the web browser after looping all the rows in excel we need to close the excel file as well so under excel group close excel drag after the end command uh, excel instance anyway we are opened with the read only mode so no need to save here choosing do not save document save and finally we are going to display a message search for display display message drag after the close excel the box title is success the message to display is all pdf documents have been downloaded message box icon let's take information and save let me save the flow i have given a break at the end command so I'm going to run now the chrome is launched it sent the key control p print dialog also it updated the path and clicked the save button and then closed the browser since we have given a breakpoint here the program is still running mode and it is given a pause at the command end now let me open the folder if you look at this folder path what we have given there is no pdf document at all why because after updating the path under populate text it is automatically clicking the save and closing the browser when we try to save any document it takes a while to process and save the file for that process we have to give a wait command between the populate text and the click ui element save button let me stop the program search for wait there are several wait commands so here we are going to take a flow control wait drag this after the populate text and give the duration let's say 5 seconds save it save the flow and run the flow it opened the url it sent the key control p and clicked the save button and open the save as dialog box updated the path and file name the file name is formula name and click the save button let me head back to the folder and check the files are saved or not still there are no files have been saved the one more mistake here is we need to add the wait command after clicking the save command also so drag one more time the wait command after the save button and the duration i'm going to give five seconds click save and now run the flow again it's going to open the excel file read the file and launching the chrome with url send to the key control p clicked on the save button now the save as dialog box it updated the path and file name is waiting for five seconds to click the save button now click the save button and waiting for another five seconds and then close the browser now let me get back to the folder and check the file is saved or not now if you look at the folder there is a file saved pdf document with all 
all is the formula name. Now head back to Excel and see the first formula is all. That means successfully it launched the URL and saved the file with the file name all. Now head back to Power Automate. Let me remove the break mode. Let me stop the program and save the flow. Let me close the Excel file too. Head back to the folder. Delete the existing file. Head back to program window. Save the flow. And run the flow. Now it launched the Excel. It read the data. It's opened the URL in the Chrome. It sent the control P command and clicked the save button. It is updating the path and file name and trying to click on the save button. And it is waiting for another five seconds before closing and closed the browser and the second iteration started whenever you have this kind of monotonous tasks or repetitive tasks to perform you can utilize the power automate to automate the process it has the very much high capability to any repetitive tasks. Now it has closed the Excel and it displayed the message stating all PDF documents have been downloaded. Click OK. Head back to the folder. And you can see all the files have been saved. Let me open one PDF document. And you can see the entire web page has been converted into a proper PDF document. Also, it is more readable and you can copy any text from it. So, this is how you can convert the web page into multiple PDF documents when you don't have the export button. I hope this small tutorial will help you a lot in your organization to automate any invoice process or ERP system process. I request you to please like and comment down your thoughts in this video. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.